like like Dobbo's dad, who, who obviously sadly passed away, man, yeah. like he came and spoke to us as well, and like 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 tears were were, were rolling down his his cheeks, you know, and it's a it's a like a well respected man in the rugby fraternity. And uh, Newlands, how how disappointing was not having the send off, uh, and and how how sad is it going to be knowing that it's no longer going to be the, the home of rugby for province. It's like, like so, just this like all round disappointment. Like yeah. I, I, was, I was telling someone the other day, like, like I would have obviously loved to have like the season go according to plan for us, yeah. you know, like as as the stormers of of well twenty twenty the season that that's passed now. And like you guys we were had, looking good as well. Hey? So yeah, we're like, we, had, we had such like. Great plans in place and mm. wanted to, we all knew it was going to be the last year, but we just had so much that we wanted to achieve as a crew mm. and like just make more memories than, than what we already had, you know. And for me, like not having played like sort of a farewell game, there is there's something that will probably be like, like you, you wish you can just, have that moment, like have that 80 minutes and just be like, this is it, you know? Yeah. Um, I think like it would have been great to, to have, you know, the Super Rugby final at Newlands, you yeah. know? Yeah. And have that be the farewell game and like, can you, like, can you just imagine Cape Town? Like, no, say, celebrations, Clemon. Go on, go on to win it. Man, I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm pulling <laughs> all nighters left, right, and <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, you'll see me at that, that engine there that, with that steers. You'll see me there every night, probably. But, uh, Jeez, that's a great engine. Huh? Probably one of the better ones. Probably one. Also, like, in my, 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 my younger days, going to Tiger Tiger, and that, like, that place has got some funny stories that happened at that Jeez. <laughs> I think that that's, like, a different podcast on its own. Just yeah, 100%. What's the kind of 100%. stuff you did at that engine? You're like, why did I do that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. No, but um yeah getting back to like the newlands it's, yeah. it's like it's for me it's like i remember going there as, as a light to like watching games there and you think to yourself oh, i just want to play there like one day just, yeah just want to get onto the field you know yeah. and like yeah. now i'm thinking like me growing up and and, and having a family and you know I, I can't share that little moment yeah. with, with my kid, you know, like seeing that excitement, like knowing how excited I was the first time I went to Newland. Like Yes. So you, you're not sure. gonna have that sort of that moment where your kid will be like, Oh, I remember when I when yeah. my dad took me to Newland for the first time, you know. So it's it's really sad and I think everyone at the union, like like there's there's a guy at, at Newland who works at Newlands, uh about like he he knows and he knows all the players. He's been there for probably since like Corner Christian days. Like jeez, you know, shout, out. shout out, shout <laughs> out. Like shout even out. before then, and like like Dobbo made him sort of or asked him to to come and chat to us. I think it was before the Hurricanes game the opener, just about what Newlands means to him. Yeah, and like he's like. I don't know, well, can't even guess the age, but like over 50, <laughs> you know? And we he came up and like chatted to us and you see the emotion that guy has and he showed that on. day about Newlands. It's it's amazing. And like, you think to yourself, man, I'm lucky. Like I get to run out here every other Saturday and there's someone who just, who wants to be uh, like just once, you know? Yeah, and, he can't wait for... for exactly. You know? And even like, like, Dobbo's dad, who, who obviously sadly passed away, man, yeah. like he came and spoke to us as well, and like, like, like tears were were, were rolling down his, his cheeks, you know, and it's a, it's a like a well respected man in the rugby fraternity, yeah. And you see him talk about Newlands like that, and it just gives you goosebumps. So you're like, <laughs> like I'm really lucky, and I'm so, yeah. so just so blessed to be to be doing this, you know, at a place like Newlands, mm. yeah. I mean, obviously in lockdown, we'd be going on like lots of little hike things around Newlands and Newlands Forest. Uh, and you, 
obviously the first thing you look for is like where's Newlands uh, yeah. and see and, and I was actually I think it was two weeks ago we saw I was looking at Newlands and I, I remember my dad like as you say for the first time he took me uh, I think it was a province game and I just remember Brayton Pulsar just running down the side like killing it and I was like oh yeah. this is the dream bro <laughs> this is the yeah, dream it's like you the, the, like the one thing I love about Newlands is the fact that the fans are just so close to you like yeah. all the time you know what I mean and that's something like running out see all like the jerseys and the flags and that and it's it's something that you you can't really put into words it's just like when you're in that moment you're just like this is incredible like, yeah yeah it, it almost it almost feels like a, a sense of community once when the game's on you know it's like 100 it for for certainly for fans it's it's that specific arena is yeah. you, you're there for one for one reason and that's to to support the boys and, and have a couple beers uh if you're of an age obviously um 